So it was, you know, like the Blair Witch Project, right. walking through the woods. What was that sound? Did you mm -hmm. hear that? You know, we did that kind of thing to each other. Oh, what's that over there? Right. Trying to spook each other. Mm -hmm. okay. So we were totally convinced of the Dark Watchers. And, uh, well, see, that's what I thought this was all about. I thought I was giving you, I thought what I was handing you was the perfect excuse to go someplace oh, by you yourself. Did. Totally. You know? Because and I decided, well, instead of doing... Then you disappeared. <laughs> the Dark Watchers is not something you just talk about. Or even in my father's to say that this wasn't just another Loch Ness monster thing. Right. You know, there was something really out there. The Dark Watches have appeared in California folklore for the past several hundred years. So what are these Dark Watchers? These mystical entities are believed to reside in the misty hillside of Big Sur in the Santa Lucia Mountains. Spanish explorers and Mexican ranchers that came after referred to these creatures as Los Vigilantes Oscuros. A camper at Fernwood complained to the management that a man had been walking around in the middle of the night. The camper indicated that the man had crept right up to his tent and just stood there watching, waiting. Slow to wake, the camper realized what was happening and sprung out of bed to confront the figure, which quickly walked off into the darkness. A man is dead after he lost control on Highway 1 near Big Sur and drove off the cliffside. We are beginning this evening with a new twist to an already tragic story for a Central Coast family. It began last week with the search for the seaside man who disappeared while hiking in Big Sur. Tonight, the search for a missing Oregon woman along the California coast is now expanding into Monterey County. know how to describe it but it was like it was flowing uh and so i like sprinted back to my car and like sprained my knee um but you know i'm alive today so i guess it was worth it wow so then you, you don't think it was like a person or just like an optical illusion or something oh no, no this was like very real and very like inhuman it just did not just like didn't that sit right, subject, yeah. Like the shape was just not like what you would expect from human. Gotcha. All right. Well, hey, thanks for talking to us, man. Really appreciate it. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah have a good me. one. Yeah. You too. All right. Yeah. So that that's pretty awesome. weird. Yeah. Going off the Cut. His story. <laughs> Dark Watchers Project. I'm gonna waste the battery. Yeah, dude, we're debunking myths, not filming Bigfoot. Yeah, dude, but we might actually see it up here. Like, you don't even know. Okay. Let's push that back. All right. Which uh, way do we go? This way. They're just probably at the door. I think you go in there glass and it gets cold. Fucking creepy. I got my socks wet. <laughs> I think so. Yeah. It's just a myth though, like it's unreal. Yeah, but like the Fremont Indians reported the Phantom Forest. You guys are still fighting about is, this? Yeah. Yeah, we are. Because he's stubborn and wrong. <laughs> no, it's like, there has to be like some truth to the myth. It's all myths are kind of true. Not really. Like, even in today's, I don't like to get this on camera. Even in <laughs> okay. today's modern day and age, when everyone has a camera in their pocket, there's still no sightings of it. <laughs> yeah, but like there's still so much areas in like wilderness that hasn't been searched yet. I uh, They okay. could be hiding out there. Uh, whatever you guys hear, Jake, take the camera, film, I'll film the intro. Thank you. Are you rolling? Hold on. Alright. Wait, good. Well, here we are on the set of the Santa Lucia Dark Watchers documentary. Some say that the Dark Watchers phenomenon is just an optical illusion that people see, while others really do believe that there is some truth to this legend. <laughs> Yeah. God, stop flirting with each other. <laughs> Get a room. Let's go. 
think that's good. I feel like we should be filming as much as possible. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Like, if you can get one on film, possibly. Yeah, I'm over and maybe we'll see some aliens out here too. Hey, don't forget Bigfoot. Yeah, screw off, guys. <laughs> Oh my god, there's a bird bucket! Ooh. <laughs> Probably living in that cave. There you go. <laughs> Looks great, Jake. Thanks. We're ready. Let's jump. <laughs> I'm ready for bed. <laughs> a long hole. It's long too. So. Alright, that's insane. So right. we are we are starting this fire. We're starting the fire. Survivor I'm man. You guys how to make a fire. So basic fire making step one. It's raining, of course. Find so. dry sticks. Yeah. Anything that you can. Any uh any dry sticks over here? That's all I can get. Alright, so uh step two is Walking deeper into the forest for some keep sticks. Going, keep looking. Don't give up that easily. You guys, can you stop What's looking that? around, please? Why? You're killing the battery. Tomorrow we can just like keep heading up or whatever and maybe like try and get in this pass or. I guess. Because I mean, we just gotta look around, document as much as we can about it. Probably I think, as good as places in. I think the watches are like. More likely to be in a higher <laughs> altitude. Yep. That's what people figure. As the legend tells. <laughs> Can you smoke that away for me? Okay. Answer stay? I mean, I go out in the rain, but. <laughs> whatever. <gasps> bye bye. Enjoy. Where? In here, yes. This is yeah. so stupid. It was like right in there. Like you in didn't that, see in that anything. There's nothing there. I don't know how you could have seen it. It was, it was looking. There was like eyes like glowing he's, in the tree. He's drunk. He's drunk? You're I'm going back to the campsite. I'm going. Bye. Jake, it was like, come look at it. It was sort of like right in there. Oh, God. It was like in those trees, dude. Yeah, I don't see shit, dude. dude I swear to God it was there, man. Mm hmm. Bet you did. Why the fuck are you filming? Because I'm documenting everything like you told me to. Tom is fucking missing, turn it off. Yeah, and I bet he's fine, all right? We'll document it, we'll have a nice laugh afterwards once we find him, all right? I bet he just slept walked somewhere, all right? And fell asleep under a tree. Jake's, Jake's probably right. Just leave the stuff here. Let's, let's go look for him. We'll go look for him. Good feeling about it's this. It's fine. It's I do not. We'll leave this up. We'll go look. Come on! You're right. Jay, can you check out the map? Shit. What? I gave the map to Tom yesterday to look at, and I think he put it in his backpack, which is back at camp. Fucking great. So you had one map, and now we're lost? Well, don't get mad at me. It wasn't my idea to go off looking for him without a plan. So now it's my fault for trying to find him? Oh, I mean, it's definitely, I'm not the one to blame. Guys, let's just stop fighting. Just chill for a second. We can figure it out. Just clear our heads. Good idea. I'll be right back. Alex, that's not what I meant. No, I'll be right back. You want a cliff point while we're waiting? Sure.
she's been gone for way too long. Right? I guess she wouldn't just wander off like that. Well, maybe she's from over a hill and can't hear us. Yeah, maybe. Let's go look. Okay. Tom? Tom! He's down there, I swear I just saw him. I didn't see anything. I'm gonna go look for him. Tom! Wait, wait! Oh, Ow. shit, Jake. What happened? I broke my fucking ankle. Okay. There's a log. Do you see it? Mm -hmm. I need to break. My ankle can't even move anymore. Okay, okay, here. I'm sorry. <clears throat> uh, 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 <sighs> we still don't have any service. <sighs> let's just let's just wait here. Well, I guess this is all for the record now. I'm Callan Hobman. My boyfriend, Jake Erickson, broke his ankle earlier today. Our friends, Tom Shallow and Alex Holmes, went missing without a trace. I, I just want to add, whatever's happening here, it's not natural, look. Tom said he saw something right before he went missing. I definitely saw something before I broke my ankle. If we're gonna stay here for the night, and try to get down the mountain for help in the morning. We're just trying to document everything, just in case. Over there, I think I see one. Quick, t turn on the night mode. I I'm trying, I'm trying. Okay, I get it. I, there's nothing there. How can I just disappear? I don't know. I'm, I don't feel good about this. What was that? There's definitely more and they're getting closer. You need to get out of here. No, here, I'll help you up. We can go together. No, I'm just gonna slow you down. You need to go. It's not real, it's just our imagination. Talon, go! Okay. Oh my God. I don't know what's going on, but I'm so sorry to Tom and Alex's parents and Jake's parents. I am so sorry. I didn't want to leave them alone. And mom and dad, I love you so much. I'm so sorry. This was all my fault. This project was my entire idea.